you've played in some amazing sides. St. Helens, you played a side at Wigan, uh, Bradford as well, three. When I obviously retire, I always talk about the Saints from about 06. It was yeah. an unbelievable mm -hmm. team. Which was the best side that you played in? Is, is there any years that really stand out in your mind? That, that 06 team, really, or, or around that period of time. I just thought the football that we played. I mean, Bradford were, were big and strong and powerful, but I think the brand of football that we played at St. Helens through, through that period of time, you know, we were, we were quick and we were just we were a good communicating team. I think, you know, a lot of these teams that play good football, you've got to be good, good communicators or even if, when you talk about the Leeds side, that successful Leeds side, it's just knowing each other, knowing how, how each other play and just, just instinctively knowing, you know, what also and those, those sort, of, sort of things. Does any one player stand out or you just think that he was the number one? No, it, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. I was so lucky to play, you know, like Callum's mentioned, Jason Robinson. You know, I played with Jason at Wigan. He looked after me a little bit as a as a fellow Yorkshireman who were who were over in Wigan. Um, you, you talk about Sculthorpe, Long, Cunningham, you know, Farrell at Wigan. They just Gary Connor. When I went to Wigan, I went there and I signed as a centre. I'd played loose forward back row most of my junior career, but I ended up signing playing rep football as a centre. So when I went to Wigan then and played reserve grades, I kind of I kind of idolised Gary Connolly with my like hero, kind of within the system, you know, at, at Wigan. Uh, but then I got in first grade and, and chopped and changed between uh, centre and back row before I, uh, I stayed in the pack.